Hello everyone, uh, Snipe Channel here. Um, today is June 11th, Tuesday. I'll be going my recap for today. Um, so today I did uh, three trades today. Um, total of $181. Um, so uh, yesterday I also was up 150 total, um, but I didn't get a chance to do a recap. I traded uh, VUZY yesterday. Um, so VUZY yesterday I had this uh, bear bear flag and I shorted here at the 304 I think. Um, 304 mark. Um, and I covered around the 380s um, uh, for a $100 winner. Uh, and then yesterday I also traded the INTC. Um, so yesterday I had um, kind of this uh, trend line break of this uh, 4694 um, yesterday and I think I shorted at 30 I think it was down here so I uh, shorted this 4694 area and it was like a $50 winner uh, for a total of $150 for those two tickers um, today I traded Tesla and PRVB. Um, so Tesla uh, or PRVB, um, this was a, a runner yesterday um, and I was watching this um, today. So this had a really long um, bear flag here, you can see. And it was holding trend, holding trend. Um, and then I was watching for this fell flag. So you can see, um, so when, what I learned uh, from my past experiences, um, sometimes I usually go in early here and I get stopped out right here from this fell flag. But now what I do like to do is to wait for this um, flag to form, uh, break out, have volume, and died off. So when I died off, now I can go in early risking that high. So what I did was uh, hit uh, some shorts there. Um, it broke this trend line and covered around this 1250 area, um, and then uh, covered at 1230s here, 1230s, and then like 1210. Um, pretty much that's my last covers there uh, around 1210, and that was a hundred and three dollar winner. Um, and this was just a bear flag. You can see this for me. Uh, broke here. Uh, Tesla, so Tesla was another f uh, bear flag that was forming. You can see this flag here, and then um, this fell flag. Um, but uh, this fell flag actually held up uh, a little bit. Um, so I actually went short here, thinking it would have a leg down, uh, but it ended up stopping me out. So I took like a fifty dollar loss here. Um, because I thought this would become a uh, resistance um, but I end up making another uh, flag here right here um, so I went ahead and started short there uh, I went pretty small size since it was a bigger spread um, but I went another like 50 shares 25 shares every time and I end up uh, covering just uh, on the way down there um, I missed some covers here and I end up just popping out the, the 215 area uh, for a $92 winner. Uh, VUZY, so VUZY, uh, it was kind of a little bummer here. I saw uh, this multi day flag um, right here forming. Uh, you can see a little cup and handle. Um, I went ahead and buy that uh, 222 break. Um, so you can see I bought that. Uh, I ended up stopping out, I think, when it fell to hold this uh, 222 area because it was the previous uh, resistance here. I was hoping for it to just kind of tag along here and break sooner, but it ended up dipping all the way to this uh, support and I didn't like it, so I ended up stopping out. In hindsight, it went all the way to the high of uh, 370s there. Um, and even holding after after hours. 
So uh, I was a little bummed out. I took a small loss there for $15, um, but I ended up uh, going my way afterwards. Just uh, had to be a little bit more patient or need a, a wire stop to uh, be more successful in this trade. Um, so overall, uh, three trades, uh, $181 for today. I'm um, still working on my algorithm trading. Um, so once I uh, get that uh, started and running, I can post videos on that. But in the meantime, um, I'm just trying to avoid over trading uh, on this uh, account and hopefully just trade the best setups. Um, so as always, I'd like everyone to um, thank you for watching and if you enjoy my content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you. Bye-bye.